All right, so we're gonna use our MMR650, which is a 10 amp micro-ohmmeter, but it's equipped to handle some inductive test object, like a transformer winding. So the first thing we have to do is go to the low side of the transformer. Should have, the low side usually has the, the big conductors you see here. And so we're looking for resistance value somewhere in milliohms, making sure that we have a good winding. So basically, you're just hooking up uh, between the phases. Of course, the way they're connected, this is the only way you can hook up to a transformer. So, On the instrument, we know we have an inductive object, so instead of asking the instrument to auto-detect, we're just gonna select inductive object measurement. And we're gonna use 10 amp test current and start. And you see the current will start to push. There it went. And we've got 1.7 milliohms. That's about what we expect for a low side winding. And so let's repeat the measurement on the other two phases and compare them. Now that the measurement's been completed, uh, its instrument's gonna go ahead and automatically discharge. And now that it's beeped, we know that it's done. And our final result, 1.801. And go to the other winding. So we'll come over here. quite fast actually for a winding. You see this delta R, this is how much the resistance measurement is changing during the test. And so once this is stabilized to some small percentage, then the measurement's done. So that's, that's the problem and the challenge with inductive object measurements is the, it's hard to get a stable current, so you have to, it, you, you don't get a stable resistance measurement either. It's discharged now, we can move to the last phase. Once again. Cool. So, 1.831, we had 1.808, and then we had 1.79, so very close to each other. Okay, so now we're gonna to move to the low voltage, I'm sorry, to the high voltage side of the transformer, which we expect would have a higher resistance because the high voltage windings uh, are thinner and they're carrying less current because the voltage is higher. So we're gonna go across the first winding here Okay, 7.6 ohms, so that's seven. I'm gonna go to the next phase, and all I need to do is move this lead to here. We're going across this winding. Now, I can leave this here, and I will include this bar in the measurement, but if I put it here, we exclude the bar. But the bar has a very low resistance compared to the winding, so Either location is fine. Nice. Okay. And so now we'll move to the third phase. Uh, our second phase resistance about 7.6 ohms, about the same as the first. So moving to the third phase, we can move this lead to here. And once again, I'm measuring across this winding. If I want to exclude this jumper, I can put my measurement lead here. And let's check the resistance of our third phase winding.
And finally, we have our third resistance, and it's been discharged. So this is an example of how you can use a single phase 10 amp micro-ohmeter with one measurement channel to measure all six windings on a distribution transformer. So if I want to know the resistance of this jumper, I can just move across to here. And I'm going to select resistance object measurement. And the test should be much faster. There it is, 1.1 micro ohms, milli ohms, I'm sorry. So much faster when you're just going through a nice conductor that doesn't have a big coil. So. Um. Okay, so to save a measurement, uh, after it's complete, we press the Save button, and then we need to select a client or create a new client. So we'll select the client, it's me. Transformer 1 is our test object, and it's this uh, measurement point is the jumper. And now you hear that it's been saved, and we can go back home and make another measurement. So this is our MMR650. It's a measurement of micro-ohm resistance. Uh, it gives you a 0.1 micro-ohm resolution, test current up to 10 amps. It has the built-in temperature probe or temp temperature compensated uh, measurement results. Uh, you can save the data, create clients, create test objects, uh, measurement points. Um, you can tell it if you're testing a resistive object or an inductive object. Um, if you're testing inductive objects, it does take more time because you have to overcome this inductance to get a stable current. But this instrument will also allow you to demagnetize the, the core of the winding after you finish. As you can see, I just demagnetized this transformer across the B phase uh, after we were done testing it. And it takes a few minutes, but now it says core demagnetization process finished. Thank you.